IPF is a rare disease. Mm -hmm. uh, a rare disease by definition, by AU de definition, uh, definition, is a disease that affects less than one of 2,000 people. Uh, that means around 50 per 100,000. And the prevalence of IPF is, uh, if you de define it narrowly, don't include any unclear cases, don't include all the IIPs, definitely below 550 per 100,000. So the estimates are somewhere, if you define it narrowly, between 20 and 30 per 100,000. The incidence of IPF, if you define it narrowly, is uh, around 7 to 10 per 100,000 people. Well, a rare disease is not the same as an orphan disease. Frequently you hear also uh, a disease is an orphan disease. Uh, what is the difference between orphan and rare? Orphan is a disease where you don't know much about it, where the patient is lost because there is no public awareness, nobody knows what causes the disease, nobody knows how to treat the disease. If you look at this and look at IPF, in most part, I think, until now, uh, IPF is really also an, orph an orphan disease, not only a rare disease. Because we don't know what causes it, we don't have very good treatment options, and um, I mean the public awareness is also low. For instance, in Germany, just last year, the first IPF patient support group came up. Before, there was no patient support group at all. What is the reason actually why we don't have uh, so active patient support groups like for cystic fibrosis, also a rare disease, or for lymphangioleomyomatosis, LAM, it's a disease affecting only women, a very rare disease, much rarer than IPF, but this rare disease is not an orphan disease anymore, LAM. We know the cause, it's a mutation in the tuberous sclerosis gene, we have now an effective treatment more or less, serolimus. We know a lot about the pathogenesis and have very strong support groups. So LAM, much rarer, cannot considered actually anymore an orphan disease, by my opinion. Whereas IPF is still an orphan disease. And I think we have to improve that in the future and probably it will also happen because we have now some evidence that uh, there are antifibrotic drugs available. One is already approved with a weak effect but it is effective and another one may come in the future. So then IPF will not be a rare, will still be a rare disease but not often anymore.